A chicken is a type of bird. Did you know that there are more chickens in our world than any other type of bird? In fact, there are more chickens on Earth than people. Like almost all birds, chickens have feathers and wings, and they lay eggs. Chickens can fly, but not very far. Have you ever heard the question, "Which came first, the chicken or the egg?" Listen carefully to this lesson on the life cycle of a chicken, and you'll see why that question is so difficult to answer. All living things go through a sequence of stages from birth to adult, called a life cycle. The life cycles of plants and trees begin with seeds. The life cycles of chickens begin with eggs. Have you ever cracked an egg open? The outer layer that you crack is called the egg shell. Egg shells can be many different colors, including white, light brown, speckled, pale blue, or even green. Inside the shell, the egg consists of a yellow yolk, which is made mostly of fat, and a clear part called the albumen. Do you know what a female chicken is called? A female chicken is called a hen. Do you know what a male chicken is called? A male chicken is called a rooster. Hens lay eggs. Not all eggs become baby chickens or chicks. In order to produce chicks, a rooster must fertilize the eggs before the hen lays them. Fertilization is similar to pollination. Just like flowers need pollen from another flower in order to make seeds, hens need roosters in order for their eggs to become baby chickens or chicks. Eggs that are not fertilized do not become baby chickens. They are sent to stores so that people can buy them and eat them. As soon as a hen lays her fertilized eggs, she will begin to care for them. The hen will sit on the eggs and even turn the eggs to make sure that the eggs stay warm. The eggs need to stay warm for twenty-one days in order to develop into chicks. Twenty-one days is three weeks. Let's find out what happens inside the egg during this time. Inside the fertilized egg, great changes are happening. A tiny embryo is developing inside the egg. An embryo is an animal in the early stages of life before it is born or has hatched. The embryo needs food, water, and oxygen to grow and develop. Within forty-eight hours of fertilization, tiny red blood vessels spread out from the embryo to the yolk and to the inside of the shell. Directly under the shell are two membranes or air sacs containing oxygen. As the embryo develops and grows into a chick, it uses this oxygen. This supply of oxygen is replenished or replaced as oxygen passes through the shell of the egg. How does oxygen pass through the shell of an egg? If you look at an egg shell under a magnifying glass. You will see that it has tiny holes called pores that allow oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. Humans also have pores. Pores are the openings on our skin out of which hair grows. The parts of the egg inside the shell contain all the food the growing embryo needs to develop into a fully formed chick. The yellow yolk provides the food necessary for the embryo to grow big and strong. The clear part of the egg, or albumen, surrounds the yolk and provides the growing embryo with more food and water. The first part to develop is the chick's nervous system. Then the brain starts to form, and then the heart starts to beat. After five days, the wings and the legs begin to develop. After seven days, the embryo is fully formed but is quite tiny. Around the tenth day, feathers begin to develop, and the growth of the fully formed embryo into a chick accelerates or speeds up. As the chick grows, it uses up its food supply. After twenty days inside the egg, the chick pierces or makes a hole in the air sac. 
and begins to breathe air with its own lungs for the first time. This means that the chick is ready to hatch out of the egg. The chick begins to chirp to let its mother know that it will soon be in the outside world. On the twenty-first day, the chick uses its egg tooth to chip a circle around the inside of the shell. It pushes against the sides of the egg with its body to break open the shell. When the chick first emerges, it is tired from the effort of breaking out of its shell. It is also wet. Before long, however, the feathers dry out and become lovely and fluffy. The mother hen, having cared for her eggs, continues to care for her chicks. She will shelter them under her wings to keep them warm and dry. Chicks know instinctively how to scratch around in the dirt for food. That means chicks know how to scratch around for food without being taught to do so. For the first two weeks, the chicks stay close to their mother. Chicks grow quickly in the first months of their lives. When a female is about six months old, she will start to lay eggs. These first eggs will be quite small, though. Interestingly, females are called pullets, not hens, until they are one year old. Roosters are able to fertilize eggs at a similar age. And so the life cycle begins all over again. A rooster fertilizes eggs before a hen lays them. The hen will care for the fertilized eggs and keep them warm. After twenty-one days, the eggs will hatch and new chicks will emerge. Now that you know more about the life cycle of a chicken, which do you think came first, the chicken or the egg?